Are you ready for the best case of the year so far? I'm not sure you guys are prepared for what's inside this box. I know me, I'm personally not ready for this because we went the first five cases of singles for 2022 without a single new release. Then we got a new variant J with VR headset that was all right, but those months, they were brutal for me. I had to go to therapy for it. It was really mentally taxing. But then, you know, we got Keith Cohn, Damage King, Birth of Butters, Wagon Dan, Crank Off, Remedy, Grante. It's all been leading up to this very moment. And this, it isn't just any typical singles case with, you know, a couple new releases, couple new tile and variants. No, it is the first case with cars on the road die cast in it. That's right, for the upcoming Disney Plus Cars series debuting on September 8th. We have Lightning McQueen, Mather, and a brand new character from that show. And I cannot wait to bust this open. So we're not going to waste any more time. I do need to talk about a couple logistical things, but we'll leave that big part, you know, the elephant in the room being Case J. I'll talk about that later because we kind of skipped over that guy. But I got this case from Carlot Sales on eBay. I'll leave his eBay link in the description below because he's got you know a ton of stuff on his eBay store. So definitely check it out if you're looking to get some stuff from this case. Now what's very interesting about the outside of the box here is that it says do not place on shelf before July 17th. Now obviously that's not even coming into play. It's almost August 17th and they are now just hitting stores in Australia and Canada. That's the only places that this case has been found so far. I'm sure it will hit the United States very soon. I'm sure it will hit Europe very soon, but right now it's pretty much just Canada and Australia. So it's pretty weird. Does this mean that Disney intended to release the show sooner? Or does this mean that Mattel was supposed to get all this stuff out sooner? Could be a mix of both because as we know from Cars 2 and Cars 3, Mattel released all of their merchandise about a month before the release of the movie. I think for Cars 3, it was like May 15th, and then the movie came out like June 16th, something like that, or it was May 1st, you know. So it was about a month to a month and a half before the actual media dropped. In this case, it's coming about three weeks beforehand. So definitely a shorter time window. But then again, you know, the color changers and all that stuff came out much sooner. So I don't know how they intended to do this. Maybe Pixar and Disney were like, we want to get the show out in August, but then they're like, all right, we're going to have to push it back a little bit, so just hold the die cast. I'm not really sure what happened. I don't think that's the case, though, because it would already have been too late for them to be just like, stop, put the brakes on with the die cast merchandise debut. So I think this is actually on Mattel's part. That is my personal opinion. Obviously, Case K, 95B, you don't really have to worry about that. All the cases this year have 95B on it. All of them last year were 95A. So K is the digit that identifies what's inside this box. Now, the T is actually going to be retired from opening the box. You can see how whittled down the tip is. I actually have this fancy new box cutter, and its tooth is so benign, like it won't even cut my finger, but it slices through tape like butter if I can actually aim. I mean, it's so perfect. I got this from my internship and man, it is nice. Look at that, easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, are we gonna start on the top or the bottom? Oh man, either way we go, we run into stuff right away and we might have to jump around here. All right, we're gonna start in the top left-hand corner like a book, read it like a book, Disney docket. Starting off with some repeats. Actually, yeah, Chisaki was in case, I think, E or F, so we've seen her out by now. Now, it's interesting. Usually, she's released with Harumi and Suki. Either, you know, they're all singles or, you know, Harumi. Or, I think, one year, Chisaki was in a two-pack with Yakuza. But this year, Chisaki's the only one to be getting a release. Suki and Harumi, at least so far, have not been released. I like the card back, you know, as seen in Cars 2, and you got a bunch of Cars 2 characters there. Good job, Mattel. That is correct. <laughs> Would be good to see Otis in a case again because he's become pretty rare. Here we have Shoe to the Roki. So he's been in a case for quite a while now. Not the best condition. But all the cases I've been getting are like this. You can't really find mint cards on a wide basis. I think it might have to do with the new packaging. It just seems a little flimsier. That's what everyone's been saying too. So that might be the case. I know a lot of people have been complaining about it. Like they just can't find mint versions of this stuff. And yeah, that's really a pain. 
I could use a mint version of this one. Eh, it's okay. Cruz Ramirez as Francis Beltline. So she was released in the case H with Keith Cohn. That was her first release for the year. Now, obviously, we got a Thailand version of Cruz as Francis several years ago, but this is actually the first time they released her with an accessory. So kind of cool. I don't know. They've released this barrel before. <laughs> they did it in the demo derby line of 2017. And on the back here, another interesting card back. You have some big hitters here. George Newman and Flipped Over, who we'll see in this case. We'll see him. If you guys behave yourselves, you'll see him. Yeah, this case is monstrous. You know, you get the new cars on the road stuff. You get some highly anticipated re-releases. You know, cars that people have just been clamoring for over the last few years. George Newman, Flipped Over, man. People have been wanting those so badly. All right, let's jump down the Sarge here. So, yeah, Sarge has been in the cases since case D. There's been a lot of him, and he certainly likes the peg warm. <laughs> Andy Vaporlock there on the back, Darla Vanderson, Dash Boardman, all cars one characters. All right, we're gonna have to. No, no, we're gonna go. Oh, no, what do we want? All right, I want this one. <laughs> Jambalaya Chimichanga. This one's been released way too much over the last few years. Used to be a really cool release because polka dots, I mean, such a wild design, right? But. Mattel kind of oversaturated the market with this one. Pretty sure she re was released from 2020, 2021, and this year. Just way, way too many times. On the back here, all of these have been included in previous cases, but Kabuto was in case J. Again, we'll talk about case J. Case J is kind of like the problem child right now of the family, so <laughs> we'll have to address him later. Now let's jump down to this one. I know I'm going all over the place. I'm probably teasing the heck out of you guys right now, but it's what we're doing. It's what we got to do. You guys know what I like to do. Save the best for last. And this certainly is not the best. <laughs> we have just a standard Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. But you need it. Like, it's necessary. It's like flour, you know. You need the ingredient. Is it the most flashy thing? Is it the paprika? Is it the, you know, chef kiss? No. But you need it. It's necessary. All right, get out of here. <laughs> get the heck out of here. All right, all right, we're just going to have to dive into something new here, and I think this is probably the best way to do it with your cars on the road, Lightning McQueen. Three of them, obviously, again, kind of similar to what I was just saying. That's necessary when you introduce a new paint job or a new main character type thing like this with McQueen, you're going to include a lot of them in the case. So I totally get that. They probably won't peg warm at first just because it's a new paint job, new packaging, all that stuff. But I you know, definitely will see this guy <laughs> peg warming over time. So yeah, guys, this is the big moment you've been waiting for. This is the moment you've probably skipped to in the video, you know, skipped over the boring stuff that, you know, me rambling and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the new packaging here, and it's quite a bit different from what I was expecting. You know, I thought I wasn't entirely sure how they'd integrate the on the road stuff in with the main line. I wasn't sure how they'd do it, if everything would be like on on the road packaging. But this is how it's going to be. It's going to be integrated in, and the on the road stuff will have this special packaging. So let's take a look here. Of course, you have the logo on the top right, and then you have an kind of abstract comic book look finish to the background here. Like this is not the typical animation that you see like on the color changers. You guys know what I mean, where it's actually like you could assume it's a screenshot from the movie because it looks like Pixar's animation. In this case, it's just a very abstract Willie's Butte or Radiator Springs Ornament Valley look here. You got the road, all that stuff, the cacti there in the background. And it looks good, like it totally works. I think it looks really solid, but it isn't like Pixar animation. It's like a drawing. We have this new logo up here, a new new logo, indicating that this is a new release for 2022, and it's on a retro TV, which is really cool. Obviously, I like that they're going retro. The TV is supposed to symbolize that this is a show on Disney Plus, so people aren't confused, you know, thinking that this is a movie. Trust me, there are people out there who think that this is still a movie. I don't know, <laughs> crazy people. This is a show on Disney Plus, and so that is why you have a TV there. Of course, we have the new artwork for On the Road, or as they call him, Road Trip, Lightning McQueen. Looks pretty good. 
Obviously, this is a much simpler, more minimalistic design for McQueen. And I will be reviewing him in his own solo review here in the coming days. Yeah, I got this box in today and I was like, yeah, this single box here will spawn probably about eight videos just you know, on all the good stuff in here. You have so much stuff to review. So again, they kind of did the same thing that they've been doing on all the art card backs. Instead of as seen in Cars 2 or whatever, you now have kind of a different font, different color, as seen in Cars on the Road. And you only got three so far, but there will be plenty, plenty more to come. You got Mater there, On the Road, Road Trip McQueen, and Speed Demon, who we'll meet here in a couple moments. I love the map background. I think that looks phenomenal. I really like everything about this package. I really, really do. I think it's great. I love that they include other stuff to collect on the back. I like the new logo there. And again, you also have the map behind the blister here, which I've talked about before when I've reviewed on the road stuff. This is going to be your indicator. It's going to be the common denominator on all the on the road stuff, whether it be color changers, play sets, or whatever. You're going to see this map behind the blister. Now let's take a closer look. You can see the salt flats there. That looks to be Willie's Butte for Radiator Springs. This might be the circus down here because you have a cone with a flag in it. So really cool. I like how they're doing this. They're including parts from the show on this map here. And it looks really legit. Like It looks like a retro old map, a realistic old map. So really cool. Not the best condition on these guys, but we'll obviously be opening one up. And yeah, they're all the same. It would be cool to pull an air right off the bat, but no, they are all the same. Keeping up with the on the road theme, we have Mater here. Now, a lot of people thought that Mater would be different. It would be a new version of him with like a different expression, or maybe he'd be closer to the Precision Series model, especially since the color changer version of him is with that new expression that matches the Precision Series version. But nope, it's just a typical Thailand Mater that we've gotten now for the last four years. Exact same, which really kind of sucks in my opinion. I think they blew the assignment on this. After all the raving I just did, I do think that they blew it with this one, especially because they name him Road Trip Mater. I think that's a little misleading because when it has a different name than you know the other Mater you'll see in stores, like you could see, you could very conceivably see both this Mater and the regular Mater in store at the same time, and yet they are both the same exact thing. They're just different packaging, and kind of deceptively a different name. At least though they don't put the new logo there, so that's all right. You get the new art for him, which is also kind of cool. But yeah, just to be clear, not. A new Mater. I posted about that on my Instagram story actually the other day when we first found out about it. And the back here is the same. Here's an exciting one a lot of people are going to be going nuts for is Flip Dover, the next gen intersection racer. So obviously he was released only previously in the very, very rare next gen racers four pack that had Steve Slick LePage, JD McPillar, Flip Dover. And who was the fourth? Oh no, oh no, don't make me blank on it now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm forgetting. Either way, all of them became very easy to obtain. Well, Steve Slick LePage is actually pretty rare, but he did get re-released in a Target 11 pack. So that kind of muffled his rarity a little bit, but flipped over, stayed pretty rare. I never found that Next Gen Racers 4 pack in stores. So I had to get online. But yeah, the price for that just skyrocketed over the last couple of years. But now all of them have been re-released elsewhere. So they are no longer exclusive to that pack. However, it's pretty obvious that Flip has a new expression here. Also his first time being made in Thailand instead of China. And it's still bothering me who the fourth one in the next gen pack is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I can't remember. That's shameful. Steve's Look the Page, JD McPillar, Flipped over. Who else was in that pack, man? It's like the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. How am I not remembering? Jeez, oh, getting old, I guess. But yeah, Flip was always probably the most popular anyways. Just because everyone loved his design. But this Thailand variant looks awesome. He kind of has like a metallic peak going. And I absolutely adore the new expression as well. So we'll review him. First look at his art as well, which is awesome. On the back here, pretty standard stuff. You get Paul Conrad, George Newman, Barry DePedal is another Case J goer. 
who we have yet to see really in the U.S. John Belia, the king. Obviously, Murray, the Cars one, Murray doesn't really belong on here, but at least Murray does appear in Cars 3, so they kind of got half right. So yeah, really exciting there. I'm telling you guys, it'll come to me who the other one in the pack is. It'll come to me. Here we have another new to 2022 release, and that is Charlie Checker. He was released before from Thailand, though, but this is his first time as a 2022 single. Is that a chip? It looks like he took a monster chip to that spoiler on him already. Wow, I can't believe that in the packaging, too. I think I might even be able to see the paint clipping down there in the bottom left. <laughs> Damn, I wonder what happened. Good thing I won't be opening him, though. This might be the first time Charlie's been released as a single since 2015, so it's good to see him back. Maybe even earlier than that, but I think it was actually 2015. Now on the back, this is a new card back, so you get to see some good stuff. Text Dynaco. This is the first time you see Bertha Butters Wagon on a card back. Another Case J Goer. Murray making another appearance. You got Artie and Brad Windmiller there. Lightning McQueen with the Rusty sign. And Dexter Hoover with Checkered Flag, who's also in Case J. Artie was in Case. I think she was in F. Brad was in H. Lightning McQueen with sign, I think, was in G, maybe? I think it was G. Text, I think, is in this case. So we will see him down at the bottom there. But yeah, I always liked Charlie. I think he's been a classic character, one that's stuck around for a long time. So I am not complaining to see him back. Up next, we have none other than Speed Demon. So this is your new character for Cars on the Road, the first one being released. I always find it interesting how Mattel you know, determines, like, this is going to be the first new character we release. You know, back for like Cars 2, it was pretty obvious it was going to be like Finn McMissile, Howie Schiffwell, Cars 3, you know, Jackson Cruz. But you also had a bunch of randos in there like Tommy Highbanks, also in the first case. This time though, you get Speed Demon. Now you guys might not know how he plays into the story, but if you watch my video on the Cars on the Road book, then you probably have a decent idea. I'm not going to tell and spoil it. If you don't want to know, that's fine. But if you do, you can check out that video, which I'll link in the description below i like the artwork for him quite a bit looks pretty solid i don't know the expression looks a little weird a little stifled but i'm sure it'll look you know a little bit more reasonable when we see him in the show now he's like floating because he does have wings so it appears he can fly obviously new for 2022 duh it's pretty easy this guy looks pretty good even though he's light like there's not much die cast on him i love the chrome part so We'll get into the review of him, obviously, in a couple days here as well. Card back's the same. And then here we go with a, another new release, but this time not a part of Cars on the Road. Believe it or not, this is a Cars 2 new release. Colin Borev. Yes, sir. Very excited about this one. He's a brand new model, in fact. He's not a repaint of Keith Cohn or Chuck Cho Cables, as many people have thought he is. He's a brand new model. So again, when I review him over the next couple days here, you'll get to see all those comparisons, and you'll see where he appears in Cars 2. But yeah, he is a Cars 2 man. New for 2022. So this logo returns, even though they omitted it on the previous new releases for the year, like Rebney Grante. I don't think Keith Cohn has it, but it's back now. So cool, I guess. Consistency, not so present, but <laughs> I don't really care, honestly, if they do. I just want new cars. Like, I just really care about the physical piece of metal that we have here, the physical product. But yeah, I'm happy about this new release for sure. I would have been upset if it was a repaint of Keith because those are like almost back to back. And it's just like, here's a brown one and here's a green one. But no, he's a brand new model. I love those chrome rims. So I can't wait to get into that. And yep, they know it's a Cars 2 release as well. They tell us such. You get Lee Race there on the back. I haven't seen him on the back before. But I think he's also in this case, which is pretty cool. And you get two of them, which is awesome. Brand new release, you get two. Two chances to get them, unless the person who beats you to the case picks up both, <laughs> which is very possible. Everyone's desperate for something new that they'll probably buy up anything they can get, you know? Just that pent-up demand. Here's Sally, back again. Pretty boring. We've seen her a ton this year. Card back's the same. 
So yeah, nothing too exciting there. And it's a, like same models they've done forever. It's not that new model that they started kind of using in 2018, discontinued it, brought it back for the Welcome to Radiator Springs line this year. Here's that Lee race day I was talking about. Now, we're not going to go through the whole diatribe on why he shouldn't have been re-released because, you know, if you don't know, he was a chase back in 2014 and chases are not supposed to be re-released. So you can probably tell that I'm not super thrilled about that, but we already, no double jeopardy. You know, we don't do that here. Lee already got his pounding. <laughs> But yeah, I like the artwork. Need the choking hazard though. You don't want to be swallowing this beaker. I know there's like a lot of chemicals in that. You got probably some, I don't know. What what did they do in Breaking Bad? Yeah, some like crystal meth in there maybe. They're cooking up Lee, <laughs> a little side gig. I mean, he did create all in all, which is engineered to explode. So wouldn't put it too far past Lee to, you know, be doing some Walter White, Jesse Pinkman type stuff. Wouldn't be too surprised. Here's another one people are going to go nuts for. And wow, it's on a perfect card too. That's exciting. George Newwin. So he was first released and only released in a Walmart five pack a couple years ago. Now he did not become quite as rare as Flip or those other ones like Steve Slick LePage, but still pretty desirable. Him on the other hand though, he does not have a new expression or anything. So I'm not sure if I will review him he looks very similar to the previous version here as you can tell like this might suffice for a lot of people this might be all they need to see oh yeah it's very similar right maybe down the road i'll review him but oh, you can see that these yellow stickers are quite a bit different those are orange those are yellow but yeah i can see quite a few differences but yeah i don't know if it's worth reviewing right off the bat so we might wait until i get another one to review him but yeah, I love the artwork though. It's only previously been seen on the Tomica box, so minuscule. And now we got the full artwork on the back. I love the look of flipped over. You can even see it looks a little metallic on the stock image there. But yeah, cool stuff. I already saw the rest of it though. All right, we're on the bottom row now. Where do we go? Let's go here. I really was, um, it's not who I meant to grab, but all right. Tex Dynaco. So as I said, this is his first time being released from 2022. On the flip side though, certainly not his first time from Thailand. He's been released multiple times now from Thailand. But I never really see him hanging around the pegs. I think he's a pretty popular character. I think he's pretty unique, you know, the cow skin, the gold metallic. It's a very nice looking coat of paint that Thailand's able to give him. Of course, you have the steer horns there as well. Will this guy show up in cars on the road? It's very possible. You know, he was in cars three, so I wouldn't be too surprised. I really hope he does, to be honest. And again, you get to see Bertha there, Dexter, and some of the other friends that we've seen. I really want to see Dana and Revney on a card back. Not sure if that's going to be within the cards, though, because we don't really have anything new from cars two or cars three. I think Colin Borev should have had Revney on the back, but he did not. All right, this is who I meant to grab. Oh, perfect. It's on a good card. One of the very few in the case that's on a good card is Winford, Bradford, Rutherford. You guys know I like to kind of hoard. I wouldn't say hoard, but the Piston Cut Racers are the ones I prioritize to really collect and keep in the package because of the fact that they're so popular and tend to go up in value. It's like buying a stock. You know, you get this and in a couple of years you can sell it for like 20 bucks. But yeah, no, Winford, really nice re-release. Not his first time from Thailand, though, but at least they got the art right this time because last time they did not. They called him Bruce Miller and put Bruce's artwork up there. But yeah, he was in case F before, so it's nice to see him back. And there were two of them in F, though, so now you got another chance to get him. Who we have here? We have Lewis Hamilton, so he's been around since F as well. I like the artwork that they've given him because they... Don't always use this artwork. They have a couple that they use, I guess, but this is not the most prominent one. So it looks good, gives them a different look. Blister's a little dusty. Cars 2, obviously. 
Here's the Cars 1 release of Darla Vanderson. And of course, she's on a perfect car. Of course, the one I don't give a crap about. <laughs> but a nice release, though. Like, it was her first time from Thailand in, like, Case B or Case A, I think it actually was. Yeah, look at all these Case A folk. Good times. <laughs> February, back in February when. We were clamoring to get all these guys. Man, I can't believe it's already... Wow, it's already August. Jesus. Wow. Going back to school here soon. I'm glad that this case came in time, though. That's really why I was so anxious to get it. I'll be able to do all my videos on this stuff beforehand. Transforming Lightning McQueen. This is his first time being released from Thailand. Now somebody might say, wait, I could have sworn they've done him already from Thailand. And you're kind of right. They did the metallic version of him as a super chase in 2020. Fun fact, that was the last super chase to be released. They have not done one since then. And I think they did intend to do a regular version of him that year as well, but they did not. And so now here he is, regular transforming Lightning McQueen from Thailand. The art is still backwards, though. <laughs> Either the art's backwards or the diecast is backwards. I think, I think the diecast is actually what's wrong. Because I do remember it going like, <laughs> and then the dieco, bam! I had some really cool sound effects during that scene. If you guys know what I'm talking about, so yeah, I think the diecast is actually wrong. <laughs> oh. Kind of a slightly different card back. You got yellow Hydraulic Ramon now over here. He's another Case J goer. So now uh, we got one more. Then we'll talk about Case J, I promise. Man, this is a long video. All my videos have been so long lately. It's ridiculous. And last but definitely, absolutely not least, is as I like to call him, Hungry Tractor. Because Tractor with Tire in Mouth is the most clunky name Mattel could have possibly come up with. Tractor with tire would have been better. Tractor chomping tire. Hungry tractor would have been pretty cool and edgy. But of course they have to go with the most clunky tractor with tire in mouth. Like it sounds horrible in every language. Tractor con pneumatico en la boca. <laughs> that actually transfers to tractor with tire in the mouth. Like, oh, gross. But still a very, very cool release. Super excited that they did this one. It's like, they're still finding awesome releases from Cars 1. This is like a funny flashbacks type release. Like we obviously got a few of those this year with Wasabi Mouth McQueen, Bug Teeth Kurt, or Wasabi Mouth Mater rather. They did that series for real in 2020. And now it seems like they're kind of still doing series. You know, there are a lot of cars that follow a same pattern. Like you have Colin Beaurev, Revni Griante, Artist Ramon, Made with Balloon. Those are all from Cars 2 Radiator Springs, right? So it seems like they're still following series, but they just aren't putting them on the packages. So this is really cool from the first Cars movie. They Yeah, they botched that though, <laughs> but... We'll get to that in a second. But yeah, we'll review him soon here. So we'll take a look at him. New for 2022. Love the artwork as well. So excited they did this one. Now, again, like I said, he does not appear in Cars 3. The only tractors you see in Cars 3 are the ones that are racing with McQueen and Cruz. And none of them are like casually just like chomping on a tire while driving 30 miles an hour. You got uh, some basic stuff up there. You know, Paul, Barry, and George. Jam, King, Murr, and Jack. J Storm. Awesome stuff. I love how none of these are really on good cards, so I don't feel bad about opening them all. Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite release from this case? There's a lot of good stuff. You know, New Thailand variants there. Let's see if I can pull all this stuff back out. New for 2022 there. New Thailand variants here. Sally's boring. Get Sally out of here. Of course, Colin Borev, very exciting. He's probably up there in one of my favorites from the case. I feel like a lot of people are going to be inclined to say Speed Demon's their favorite just because of how new and wild he looks. But over time, I think that might soften just because everyone's so excited. You know, brand new, cars on the road. Obviously, it's your favorite. But I feel like eventually saying Speed Demon is your favorite would be like saying Jackson Storm was your favorite, you know, when Cars 3 first came out. 
I hope Speed Demon doesn't become that much of a peg warmer, but <laughs> it's certainly possible. It is certainly possible. I love that Flip has a brand new expression, like completely different. We're not even stretching it at this point. We're not even like, oh, the eye color is a little different, mouth's a little different. No, it's like blatantly new. Mater, yeah, you kind of suck. Not gonna lie. McQueen, kind of a new paint job, pretty cool. So, yeah, I think my favorite from the case is I'm gonna try and avoid the recency bias. So I'm going to go with actually Colin Bowrev. Love that he's a unique model. And I like tractor with tire and I like flip as well. But who knows? Maybe looking back on this, Speed Demon will be my favorite. I mean, he's certainly one of the most unique cars we've gotten in a very, very long time. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching this half an hour video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, let me know what you think of this case. Let me know if you've been able to find it. I hope everyone can get their hands on what they want because, yeah, this is a great case. You know, obviously, there's only one to flip, one to Speed Demon, but you get three of the McQueen, two of Colin, and a whole bunch of other good stuff that you may be able to to obtain if you want i guess yeah guys i love you guys thanks for all the support recently and i will see you soon wait wait we gotta talk about case j of course case j so yeah elephant in the room case j has been skipped mainly because it's just not available right okay the 24 count case of j has only been found in europe specifically greece i've been able to obtain bertha and dana from a greek seller so i will be reviewing those soon but I won't have like the full case to unbox, at least not in the foreseeable future. If and when it becomes available, I will unbox it for you guys. But the only version of case J that's in the United States is the 12 count case, which is the crappy case. If I, you know, excuse me, but it is pretty bad, right? You know, it only has Rebney Griante in it. Dana and Bertha are absent along with some of the other cool variants. I don't even think Bling Bling McQueen is in it, right? So it's pretty bad. Again, don't know why Walmart is doing that. And if they were to do that, I feel like they would tell Mattel, hey, you know, you're giving us 12 count cases. We're fine with that. We don't want as much stock as we've gotten before. But please don't put the, <laughs> the ass cheek releases in this case. Give us the good ones, all right? Because otherwise we're gonna have the same exact problem. We're going to have all the boring releases sit around and all the good stuff, just nowhere to be found. So yeah, that's my take on it. I hope that you know the full one hits target soon, but now that case casing stores could be a little bit of a problem, could be a little bit problematic, right? So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, again, thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye now.